What up, what up, what up, y'all? Easy Silent Hustle here every day, all day. We ain't playing no games, y'all. All right, so I just recorded a video showing you how to start a business and or grow a business using AI tools. This is a very detailed video, but I forgot to do the intro. Well, I did an intro, but it's with AI tool, a, a particular AI tool. So if you're trying to start a YouTube channel without showing your face, just check out the intro video and you can start doing um, YouTube without showing your face face using AI tools. Okay. But after my intro, once it ends with my intro song, that's when I go straight into the video and I forgot to say where I'm at. So at the beginning of the video, after my intro song it's actually showing you chat GPT, that's where I'm at right now. I'm at chat GPT and I'm showing you how to use chat GPT to grow or start a business making money online y'all if y'all trying to do this this is what this video is about so that's why i started at the intro of my video right after my intro song y'all also just know i got it time stamp down below you're going to see the time stamps of what category it is and what i'm talking about at this particular time so that way you can skip to the part that's necessary for you all right all right let's get into the video easy silent hustle here every day all day we not playing no games in today's video I'm going to be discussing how to start a business using AI tools to make money online. This is going to be by far the most detailed video I've ever done. I am going to show you how the AI tools work. You don't have to do much thinking you're going to let the AI do the work for you. AI is an artificial intelligence. Simply put it as a robot that can do what you ask it or program it to do. AI technology has come a long way. You can watch a 2 minute clip video I uploaded talking about AI just click the link in the description. If you enjoy this content, please like, comment and subscribe. Also let me know what videos you would like to see on the channel. I have placed timestamps for each section in the description below. Let's get into the video. Silent hustle. Yeah. If nobody ever told you, well, I say you're awesome. This is for the underrated, undiscovered bosses. Yeah, yeah, the silent hustlers. You know you a boss, ayy. Silent hustle, but you hustle hard, ayy. We're gonna go right here to OpenAI. This is where you're gonna go, openai.com. And then you're gonna click right here where it says try. Once you click right there, it's gonna send you to this screen right here, okay? Let's say you already have a business and then after I do this portion, I'm actually going to start a new business. Okay. But let's say hypothetically you have a business and you have customer service and you have, um, you wanted to create a better script for your business. Let's say you got a business on, I don't know. Uh, uh let's say your business, your customer service need a script on how to greet the customers. Okay. You're going to say, can you give me a script? on what my cashiers need to say when a customer walks into, I'm just going to say, uh, McDonald's. I don't know. I'm just saying a, a current business. Okay. All right. And then once you do that, you're going to see a script come up. Welcome to that McDonald's. How may I help you? If a customer orders a detail, great. That is literally giving it to you, as you can see. All right. Of course, da da da. If a customer asks for more menu, this is what you ask. I'm gonna do one more for a person who is need a description for a Shopify store. They selling a product for a Shopify store. Okay. I'm gonna hit stop generating for right now. All right. Let's say I'm gonna say, can you give me a description? Me a description on uh let's go with a dog toy product i'm just gonna do that you are going to detail on what your product is okay it could be a dog's toy product that throws in the air i don't know right you're gonna ask that and sure here's the description okay so this is for people who actually have a business going and you need something already automatic and you want the AI to just automate this service for you. Automate this service for you, okay? So there you go. Introduction, thank you, so forth, right? We're not gonna go into detail, I'm gonna stop the generator, okay? So that's what, that is for a business, a person who already have a business, but now I'm gonna discuss a person who actually want to start a business and have no idea what type of business to start. Watch what I type. 
What type of business? A business should I start? Should I start today? Now, I'm going to first say in 2023. All right, first thing we're going to do is like, what type of business should show up, st- I should start in 2023? All right, and see, they're giving you different categories. Online tutoring, education service, health and wellness, e-commerce, home delivery, so forth. Y'all see this, right? DIY, these are the type of businesses telling you that you should start, right? Let's say, and I'm going to stop the generator for a second. Let's say, for example, you say e-commerce. Hey, I want to do e-commerce. I want to start selling my own products or selling my products. Let's say that, okay? Now, e-commerce is kind of like where you actually have the company does the shipping for you. So you don't have any products in your house. E-commerce is where people are, the company itself is shipping the products for you to your clients as if it is you. Okay. So we're going to go with e-commerce. Okay. Let's say you want to do this one. You're going to type in what type of e-commerce can I start? I'm just giving you some ideas. Okay. And once I do this step, I'm going to go to the next step. What type of e-commerce can I start? All right. And let's see what they come up with. All right. So when it said what type of e-commerce you can start, it actually gave me like drop shipping, online marketplace and so forth. That's not the question I was trying to get answered, right? I was trying to ask is what niche, right? Cause I want to narrow down to what product I should sell. All right, let's do it differently. Let's go. What e-commerce niche should I start in 2023? How about that? Let's see if it give me some, cause I'm trying to get different categories of what to start. Okay. What e-commerce niche should I start? Okay, it's a variety of them, da-da-da-da. Uh, eco-friendly products. All right, I'm going to stop at eco-friendly products, okay? Just just because. Health and wellness, so forth, okay? Now, I'm going to stop the generator, and I'm going to start with eco-friendly products, right? Can you give me, can you give me five eco-friendly products, okay? I still ain't eco-friendly products. I still haven't done any work. I'm letting the robot do everything. Make my decision for me. Okay. Here are five examples of five eco-friendly products, reusable cloth bags, bamboo utensils. Maybe we can search that and or let's go with reusable straws. So far I'm not. Okay. Cough mask. Okay. I'm going to tell you when, when the other one clicked more, let's say for instance, you don't like any of these. What you're going to do is, I don't, I don't see one I like, right? So far, nothing caught my eye. I'm going to tell the generator, keep going, right? Keep going. Here's a few more, right? Literally, I just want you all to know what ChatGPT does to help you start a business. Now, once we get it going, what we're going to do is natural cleaning products. Let's go with natural cleaning products, LED lights. No, nah, I like LED light bulbs, Okay. So the product once it stop generating the product we're going to use today, we're going to start a company that sells led light bulbs, period. We done. This is the company we're going to start. Okay. So now we're going to build a store to start led light bulbs. That's what we finna start selling. What you want to do now is you're going to go to, I'm going to do it like this first. I'm going to say, can you, let's do it this way first. Can you build me a website selling led light bulbs? All right. All right. So once you tell that, can you build a website selling led light bulbs? Okay. It says my AI language model. I don't have the capability to build a website. Actually, I can give you advice, but I'm going to show you what it can do after this. Okay. So it gave you the ideas. It told you, I mean, it gave you the steps, choose a website builder, choose a template, add products, set up payments, promote your website. Okay. Now, we're not going to do coding, but I'm going to show you that this website for those that are, for those that are advanced and know what coding is or advanced in coding. Let's be clear what I'm saying. Advanced in coding. He can actually write the code for you. Create a, uh, Java script. I'm using JavaScript right here. Create a JavaScript. Watch this to create a JavaScript for a Chrome extension uh a chrome extension changing changing the website background background 
to red. I don't know. I'm just saying something to red when I go to any website, right? So all I'm telling him to do is create a Chrome extension that will hold on. Let me scroll up, create a Chrome extension that will turn the background of any website from the color it is to red. Right. So we're going to stop generating, but I'm just trying to show you to the point of, to the extent this chat GPT can do. So use your imagination on what you can and what you need or what you want. Just use your imagination. We're going to stop this generator. Okay. So once we got the steps and this is going to be our steps right here, choose a website, select a template, add a product, set up this. This is actually what we're going to do. Okay. So before I can go to a website builder, I need content and I need pictures. All right. We're going to go also to something that open AI, open AI actually created, which is Dali D A L L E. And we're going to go on here and we're going to create a picture. There's two ways. I'm going to show you how to create a picture. Okay. The first way is on an AI robot or an AI called Dali. This is an AI. The first AI we use was chat GPT. The second AI we're going to use is Dali D A L L dash E. I'm just going to say create a picture of led light bulbs and I'm just going to see what they create generate. So all you're going to do is tell your task, say, create, and let's see what it comes up with. Okay. And if this might go in and out, it's cause I keep stepping away from the mic, like sitting back, coming forward. So I apologize on that. Okay. All right. And they're your choices. I personally don't like anyone. Right? So that's my four choices that they gave me. Okay. I'm going to show y'all what's watch this though. Watch this. It's exciting for me. It's exciting for me. All right. So now we're going to say, create a picture of picture a picture of one led light bulb. And I'm going to put it to sell. So they'll see if they're going to comprehend exactly what I'm trying to say. You could say, create a picture of one LED light bulb in a black background, dark background, red background. It doesn't matter. You could say endless thing to this AI right here, okay? But I'm just trying to keep it simple just to see what happens. But literally, you can go into so much details on actually what you want to be created, okay? All right, let's see what happens on this one. And then I'm going to go to another tool and show you how you can also, another AI tool, where you can create pictures as well. Okay. And be clear, there's plenty of AI tools, but I'm just giving you the ones that I have used. I have used more of them, but ones I do like. All right. So there we go. There we go. So we'll probably use this picture right here on this particular website, but I'm gonna show you how to get more pictures either way it go. Okay. Cause we ain't did nothing. Again, we went to chat GPT told them what business we ain't know we gave them some they gave us some jets and we chose how to sell light bulbs okay so we're gonna use this picture right here for right now on dali because i just want to show you how it works here you're gonna click on that picture right and then the next thing you're gonna do is hit edit or you can get variations we can get different ones right here we can get different ones okay but we're gonna hit edit because i'm gonna keep that picture the same okay or you can get different ones let me go back and show you. Cause I said I was going to do details. I'm going to do details. All right. We're going to click variations, right? Now the AI robot is going to give me different variations of that particular light bulb. Let me go ahead and show you since I said detail, that's what I'm going to do. All right. All right. And there's your different variations of the light bulb. You got this one, this one, this one. I'm going to go ahead and choose. I think I'm still going to stick with the same one. I don't know. I just like it laying down, but let's just do this one. Okay. So we're going to click on this one and we're going to click edit. Now, let me show you what this AI robot can do right here. We're going to go ahead and make this longer because I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this as my header picture on the website. Okay. So what we're going to do is make this picture longer. We're going to scroll it down just a little bit. See that? And we're going to make it longer because on the website, you want that top portion of your website, which is called a hero unit to have a nice picture, right? Nice, elegant picture. I'm going to tell it to blend the background with current picture. I'm going to say blend blend um, the background blend the background with the current image colors blend the background with the current image colors with no text reason why I don't want any text is I want to write my own text on the website okay Blend the background with the current image 
colors with no text. All right, let's see what they come up with. And I'm just making my background longer. I'm just making this picture longer is all I'm doing, okay? All right, once we do this, I'm gonna go to another app and show you how to generate a picture differently. And by the way, you can upload your image on here as well. You don't have to use that image. Let's say you created from mid journey, which is what I'm going to next. And you want to, um, use their picture. You can upload that picture and do the same thing I'm doing on this particular step right here. All right. So this is the image. They literally made it exactly the same, but watch this. They gave me other options right here on this arrow. Click to the right. That's another option for that side. Another option for that side. Another one and another one. I'm going to stick with the, um, Mm. I probably keep it just like instead of these two, I feel like I think I don't really like that cut right there. It looks like, so I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna accept this one right here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and accept it. Once you accept that image, you're going to go up here at the top and you're going to download the image. Okay. So now we have an image for our top portion of our website done deal. We didn't do anything. That's the AI. Now let's say you don't like this particular way of making the picture. Let's go to another way of making a picture, which will be the AI robot on mid journey. Okay. So when you go to mid journey, you're going to join a discord. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can start fresh mid journey. So you can see what I'm talking about. All right, once you click here, you're going to hit join beta. This is going to take you to their Discord, okay? And on their Discord, you're going to go ahead and accept the invite. And then once you accept the invite, it's going to actually bring you here, okay? Now, you're going to choose one of these rooms right here, newcomers, newcomer. It doesn't matter which room. Just click, click any of the newbies rooms. It doesn't matter which one, okay? Now, what you're going to do is to get your image, the first thing you have to type in at the bottom right here, I wish I can get this exclamation gone. Let me see if I can get it gone. Okay, there we go. The first thing you have to do on every image, you have to hit the forward slash and you have to type in the word I-M-A-G-I-N-E, imaging, okay? Then you're gonna hit enter, forward slash I-M-A-G-I-N-E and hit enter. Right here is where you're gonna start the picture. You're gonna say, can you, I mean, I'm gonna say, you don't even have to say, can you just say a picture with one LED light bulb, okay? And then I'ma actually put, I'ma see, I'ma say Shopify store, and I'ma say e-commerce, right? I'm just going into details, all right? Now, right here, they got it grayed out is my portion, right there. Picture with one LED light bulb, Shopify store e-commerce. We're going to scroll up and we're going to wait for that to come up. So if I was down here, this would have came up right now. It's showing that it's 0% finish. Okay. We're going to scroll on up and we're going to wait for it to finish. All right. So once it shows up, it's actually, all right. So now it showed up y'all look at this. So they gave me four pictures. One, two, three, four. I actually love these pictures. I actually love these pictures on this particular site. Okay. So what you're going to do is you can either tell it to up stay upscale. You can tell it to upscale one, two, three, or four. This is one, two, three, or four. You could tell it to upscale it. Okay. Or you could tell it to give me different varieties, version one, two, three, four varieties of one varieties of two varieties of three. Okay. You could do either one of them. I'm going to tell it to, cause I actually, this one stood out for me right here. So I'm actually going to tell it to give me different varieties or upscale. I may just tell it to upscale it cause I actually like this one. Okay. So we're going to tell it to upscale number two. We're going to click on you too. All right. Now we're going to scroll down and wait on it to happen. Scroll down all the way to the bottom. All right. So once your picture come up, all right. So what you can do, if this is the only picture you're going to do, you can claim the account, right? You can claim it so you can get multiple pictures and then they'll have a folder with all your pictures on it. I have an account that I claim with all my photos, but I'm not logged into that particular account. Okay. But let's say you like this picture. What you're going to do is click on it, right click, save image and save it into your, um, wherever you want to put it at. I'm gonna put it in my download folder right now. Okay. Uh, picture just in case uh, we can use this on the website. Okay. Of light bulb. All right. But again, you're going to describe your particular product you're trying to sell. All right. 
So now we have the pictures and we have the steps that we need to create our website. Okay. So boom, done. All right. Once we get our picture, we're going to go back to the chat, chat GPT. We're going to go back to that AI. And now we're going to ask for the, um, the information we need for the website. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, I need, cause we selling led light bulbs. I'm going to say, I need hero title. That's the top of the website of the web the type of your website, hero title, short description. Call to action button. And a section for two or maybe three featured products. Two featured product section. I'll say it like that. For a website selling selling led bulbs. All right. So now we're going to tell it now we're doing the content. So the first thing we did, we had to figure out what business we needed. The second thing, once we figured out what business we were going to sell, we told them to give us, how do we create the business? After it did that, then we told it to, then we went and did pictures on two different, um, AIs, Dali and discord, which is mid journey. And now we coming back, asking it to write the content and hit enter. Okay. Now, All right, so here's the title to the website, upgrade to LED and save energy today. That sounds great. A short description, save money, energy, and so forth. And two feature product sections, okay? And then we got the shop LED bulbs now. That's for the button, okay? So now we have three, some items to put on our website, and we didn't do anything. They gave us three feature sections, okay? Let's say you don't want to do a website for this particular product you actually want to do a video on youtube for this particular product okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna say can you create a youtube video script on the information you just gave me right so we're going to do both of them gave me like literally I said, I'm gonna make this video into detail as possible. Can you create me a YouTube video script on the information you gave me above? Okay. So two things you're going to do with the information we just got. We just had the picture made. We had, we figured out what type of business we want to do. We figured out um, that we want to sell led products. We got the content for our website. We got the pictures for our website, but I don't want to create a website. I actually just want to do a short video. So let's do the short video first, and then we're going to go back and create the website. Okay. So he given us an example, a person flips a switching, um, a person flip a switch, turning off the light bulb. And are you tired of constantly replacing your light bulbs and so forth? Right. Cut off the light bulb. The next thing is the narrative to say led light bulb does this, this, this. Okay. So. This is what you're going to do. I'm going to hit stop generating right quick. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to copy this, right? We're going to hit copy. And we're going to go to two different AIs that turn your content into videos. Okay. It will turn your content into videos. The first one we're going to go to is Pictory. I'm going to have a link down below as well for this thing, for this. Okay. On Pictory, you are able to turn your script into a video article to a video. Let's say you see a blog out there. You like, you can turn that into a video. You can edit videos using text and you can do visual to video. But on this example today, we're going to just do the script into a video right quick. I'm going to type on script. Oh, I got to log back in. Hold on one second. All right, so we're going to proceed. We're going to do this one right here. Script to video. We're going to hit proceed. And all we're going to do is paste it, paste that conversation there. Okay. And then this is going to, I'm going to name this particular video, which is, um, YouTube, uh, selling led light bulbs. Okay. Do all my opening shots. Cause I don't need the opening shots. Okay. I just need the narrative. Hold on. All right. I could have did this on, on word, but I didn't. So what you can do is go to paste this in word document, 
clear out all the spots, but I knew it was real easy to do this one. I also don't work the word narrative on there. I'm going to take that off, right? And I'm just going to keep the words itself. I, I would say go ahead and do this on, um, <laughs> do this on words so you don't have to worry about it, okay? All right. So that's all we got. You can, you can put it back up like this. You can take the space off if you want to. You don't have to. It doesn't matter. All right. So the next thing you're going to do, all you're going to do is click proceed. Once you click proceed, it's actually going to ask you to create a template or choose a template unless you had your own, but we're going to create our own. We're going to choose a template from down here and I'm actually going to choose, um, let's choose. Um, it, it doesn't matter. You guys, it's about the wording for me on how the word are placed. That's actually what I'm looking at. I'm looking at how the words come into the screen. So I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. We're going to hit select. You can choose to have it a YouTube style, TikTok style, or one on one by one. Okay. That's the different frame. Cause you know, most of TikToks are this, I mean, most of YouTube is sideways is now becoming vertical, but vertical mostly is TikTok and Instagram. Okay. And now we're doing shorts on YouTube. That's this size. So let's go ahead and do this size, a regular size, 16 by nine and click continue. Once you do that is literally going to create the video for you and you didn't have to do anything. It's all. Now I'm going to show you two different ones. We sh I'm showing you Pictory. I'm going to let that one do what it does. And I'm going to go to AI. We're going to do the same thing on Steve AI. It's another AI. We chose Pictory AI, Steve AI. Both of those turn scripts into videos. We're going to hit start and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. We're going to hit start and we're going to do the same thing. And I'm going to show you all the difference of the videos on both of them. Okay. I'm going to X off that. And I'm just going to paste the text right here. Paste. Right. Remember, we're going to take those open shots off and narrative off. Okay. All right. So what I did was when I copied and paste, you can actually do this in word before doing all this. And that way, when you copy and paste over, it actually does everything for you. It actually already is like this. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down here where it says what this video is about. Bub energy. I'm going to choose energy. We want a live video. You could do live or animation video. We're going to do live and we're going to do all sources. Okay. Meaning all the images or whatever from different sources. And then we're going to add a voiceover and we're going to add the music. English, US, female, Joanna, generate voice. So on this one, we're going to actually add the highlights as well. So highlight the keywords on here. All right. We're going to hit next and we're going to watch this create. Wait, we're going to choose our thumbnail first. Our template. I'm sorry. We're going to create our template. And for this one, I'm just going to create, I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. So now it's creating a video for you. So let's go back to Pictory AI. And here it is. And we're going to, let me tell you what I would have done. Heads up. You guys, I would have actually did several different scenes. So you see how I said scene one, scene two, scene three, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you something. I'm going to go back. And what I would have done is I would have just kept entering. So we, so we don't have, you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing so it could separate the videos a little bit. Okay. All right. Y'all see that? So I'm going to generate this video one more time. So it won't be so many words on one page and I'm going to hit proceed. Okay. And I'm just doing that to show you all. I think I chose party on this one. So we're going to choose party again. 16 by nine continue and it's pro it's doing the video. Okay. So let's go back to Steve AI. Why that one completes go back to that one. We're going to come back to that one. Now look at this y'all. You could change the video. I mean, you could change the pictures. You can change the video. You can change all that on there. Okay. Let's just see what it does. Are you tired of constantly replacing burnt out bulbs? Are you looking for a way to save money on your energy bills? Look at the bill in the background. They literally pick pictures for you according to that text. I'm not going to play it all the way. Okay. So now you don't want to show your face on YouTube. There's a video. There's how you do it immediately. You can change these pictures here and there. You can change each one of them. All you have to do is click on the picture and over here to the right. I mean, I'm sorry. Up at the top, you're going to click swap. And you're going to choose another picture. You can choose it from whatever list they give you in a few minutes. All right. So you can choose one of these videos, right? I'm just going to choose one just to show you. 
You could choose one of the videos. It's going to automatically put it in there. Okay. But I actually like the first video first, the first one it had. Okay. I like the first picture it had or the first video it has. And then you're going to click publish. That's it. Upload it to YouTube. And there you have it. Okay. Now with Pictory, same way. Let's see theirs. You're going to hit preview. Are you tired? Now we could put a voiceover on this one. Let's go ahead and that's just the first scene, you guys. So at the bottom, you can see scene one, scene two, scene three. It just did scene one. And that's the one we're going to work with right quick, okay? So you're going to add a voiceover right here. And you're going to upload voiceover, right? All you're going to do is go over here. If you want to talk on it, you can by creating your voiceover, record your voiceover. Or you can choose one of the voiceover they have, which is right here. Voiceover, Joanne. Let's just hear her voice. Hold on, let me see if it let you play it. It does let you play it, but let me see. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video. Okay, so you can say you want male, female. You can choose what region you want it in, that voice to be in, English, UK, Indian, and so forth, okay? So we're going to just choose the first one because I'm just trying to get through this video. And also the background music, it chose that particular music. If you don't like it, click X and go ahead and choose another one, Final Destination, hit Apply, and now it should be on the video, okay? So you're literally going to come over here. You're going to hit preview and now you'll hear your voiceover the same as we did on Steve AI. So again, Are you tired of constantly replacing burnt out bulbs. You heard that? So it's the same concept. They, they do different images. I'm not going to go all the way on this one. As you can see different images. All right. And you can choose whatever image you um, like. There's your video. Click generate, upload it on YouTube. All right. That's for the people that want it a video now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to actually create a website right here we're going to create the website with this particular information the first thing you're going to do is there's a couple of ways you can do it you can go to i think web hosting and go ahead and get your wordpress website your domain name so you want to get your domain name and you want to get your wordpress hosting everybody has to has hosting okay you go to hosting, hit WordPress, or you go to website, hit WordPress. Either one on both of these are hosting, okay? Hosting just mean every single website on the internet has hosting. Google.com, CNN.com, everybody is hosted. That's the only way your website can be online. So you have to have some type of hosting package. So once you get into that, I'm not going to do those steps. This is the um, this is what I think web hosting look like on I think web hosting. You're going to go here and you're going to hit edit website. All right? Now. I'm going to give you a quick and easy plugin that you can use to go ahead and upload your pictures and so forth on your website. So when you come in, you're going to see pages to your right. You got the home page, service page, contact us page. You can create pages if you want to add new. Okay. Add new. If you want a, a service page or about us page, add the page. Okay. The quickest way I want you to do this. I want you to go to plugins and I want you to click add new. Once you add new, I want you to go to Elementor. Elementor. I think that's what it is. Elementor. Okay. Right here. I want you to install this on, on your WordPress. Okay. Don't make it hard. You guys don't make it hard. Just go ahead and choose Elementor. You can upgrade to the pro version of Elementor, or you can use this one. Once it installed, click activate. All right. All right, once you install the plugin Elementor, then I want you to come here. All right, and I want you to go to plugins and I want you to type in starter templates, okay? Once you type in starter templates, I want you to install this one right here that says starter templates, where you can use Elementor, WordPress, or Beaver templates. So then I want you to activate it, okay? Once you activate, I wanted you to go to pages. Just know that when you're on pages, you can just click add pages. You can remove all this and hit add pages, or you can use these templates. I'm going to go ahead and hit add new. And I'm going to name this page, um, led bulbs. This is actually going to be my home page. You guys, I'm just, I'm just doing it this way. We're going to hit edit in a limit, edit with elementor. All right. And once we get here, we actually going to click on the starter template. All right, let's click on one of them. And we're just going to cho choose any one with selling LED bulbs. For now, let's just choose the first one, Love Nature. Let's choose this one. 
All right, and then we're gonna import template. Click on import template, and this is gonna be on your home page, okay? All right, and there it is. Now, if you can see the layout of this page like this, we don't like the layout. I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish on this right quick, okay? Just so I can save it. What I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna show you how to change the layout. So I know a lot of people are gonna come in and see their page looking like this, and this is something I wanted you all to see. We actually gonna come, go back. All right, you're gonna go back and you go to go to pages. What I want you to do is click on quick edit. I want you to click on quick edit on that page and right here where it says default template, I want you to change it to Elementor full width. I want you to do that and I want you to hit update. Then I want you to go back to that page and edit with Elementor. So we're gonna edit with Elementor. All right, there you go. And this is the hero unit, the picture that we saved on the page and this is our three um, featured sections. Okay. So all you're going to do is go right here and you can right quick and hit edit section. Once you hit edit section, you're going to go to style and you see this picture right here. We're going to choose this image and we're going to upload our own image that we just downloaded on, um, on our desktop download. And we're going to choose the first picture, which is the light bulb. That's what we created earlier. We're going to do that. And we're going to hit select. And we're going to click insert media. All right. We're going to insert that media. And there's the picture. Simply. Now, last thing is we didn't know what words we want to put on there. So we're going to go right back to the, um, our script and we're going to do our hero title, which is upgrade led and save energy right here where it says we love nature. We're going to change this. We're going to make it paste. We're going to take this one off. The first one we're going to take off. Right click and delete. All right. And then you could change the colors and everything. So we're going to go ahead. Let me just change the colors for you all so you can see. We're inside the box. We're going to go to advanced. We're going to scroll down. I'm mean, sorry. We're going to go to style. We're going to go to text color. Go right here where it says text color. We're going to click on here and we're going to change that color. All right. Let's go ahead and go with. I'm just going to choose black cause that looks good. And it stood out. All right. Once we change it black, we can actually resize this text. So it's not so big or long. 20 minutes later. I lost my footage. You all. So I had to start from here. All right. Once you add your image, the next thing we're going to do is add our, uh, let's see. We're going to add the hero title up here, upgrade to led and save energy today. We're going to copy that and we're going to come back to the website and we're going to actually duplicate this cause I want it to be kind of split. I don't want any words over the light bulb for right now. I don't want it. So I'm going to duplicate it. And when I duplicate, it's going to give me two of them. So that way I can just write the text in this particular box and nothing is over here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right here to heading. We're going to click and drag and we're going to drag it in. And then we're going to go ahead and paste our message right here just hit paste all right all right and then you want to add another section uh oh let me plug up my thing uh you want to add another section right here and on this one we're going to go ahead and add the description that they gave us right here okay now we're going to add this short description but actually i'm just going to do save money i'm just going to do a short one so it'll be a one-liner right below that copy and i'm gonna do like a one-liner okay right here. And then we're going to choose, let's choose text editor. We're going to click and drag again. And then right here, we're going to erase this and we're going to paste it. And as you can see, it's gray. So we're going to go to style. We're going to go to text and we're going to make that text black. All right. Now, one thing you can do is you can go ahead and delete. You see how you got two boxes. You can go ahead and delete this one. And that way it's a one word or right there. The last thing I want to do is I want to create a button for them to buy on. I want to create a button. So we're going to put the button down here. All right. We're going to center that button. And then we're going to actually write the description for that button right here. 
All right, so again, we're going right back and we're gonna put what they told us, which was shop LED lights today. Now, we're gonna copy it. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back and we're gonna go ahead and hit paste. All right, one thing you can do is change the color of that. You can actually go over here and you could change the color of the bulb. You can go here and you could change it to light blue, whatever color you want, all right? If you want to keep the website kind of consistent with different colors, let's, let's keep it that color for now. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to do your three featured section right here on this picture. We're going to click on this picture. We're going to choose image and we're going to upload that second image that we did, even though you're going to have your own images. Okay. Select image, go ahead and choose that second image we created. And then you're going to insert that image. You're going to do that three times for three different pictures. Okay. Then you're going to go here. You're going to go back to the um, chat and you're going to do, let's do the first one. High efficiency led bulbs. Let's do this one. Let's do smart led bulbs. I'm going to do this one. Say copy. I'm going to come back over to the editor and then I'm going to type it in tight in description. I'm going to just put paste. I'm going back. And I'm going to add, actually add the description that the AI gave me. Copy. And then we're going to hit paste right here. All right. So that's one thing you can do to build your website ASAP. Another way you can build your website easier. Of course, you're going to just go on here and you're going to hit update. Let me be clear. You're going to hit update. Go ahead and tell you. Once you hit update, finish up this page. You're going to go back out and you're going to exit out of here and you're going to go to your next page. So what you're going to do is just create pages. If you deleted all your pages, which you can delete all the pages, do per page at a time, one page at a time and edit with Elementor. All right. And make sure you do quick edit and make sure you change the template to Elementor for width when you're changing your pages. Okay. And hit update. So that's how you can do all your pages on WordPress. Another way you can do your website, which is a little easier as well, is maybe easier than what we just did. We're going to go to editor X on editor X. We're going to do the same thing. Once you, um, once you set up you an account with this company, you're going to, once you get to editor X, you can go ahead and set up your account. Once you set up your account, we're going to go ahead first, just add our hero unit. Okay. So we're going to hit add. And this one may be a little simpler, simpler. We're going to add element and we're going to add a picture. Let's go with image. We're going to click it. All right. The next thing we're going to do is change image. We're going to go over here. We're going to upload the image. This is my last video. If y'all want to see how I use if y'all want to see how I created a website selling doll products. That's that one. So we're going to upload the image from the computer. We're going to go ahead and find our image of light bulb. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and hit update, not upload, but update. You guys going to hit update. All right. Once you put your image in, let's go ahead and put our menu in. We're going to add some pages, go ahead and click pages. And then we're going to add pages, add new page. We got home add page. We're going to make this one about us. And then we're going to add a new page and we're going to make this one shop now. Shop now. Okay. So we created three pages, right? So the next thing we're going to do is go back to the home page. All right. We right here. We actually going to go ahead and create the menu again. We're going to hit add element or the plus sign. Either one. We're going to click on menu. We're going to drag the menu to the top. We're going to resize it a little bit, bring it in a little bit, bring it over. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually add the pages to this. We're going to hit this. We're going to hit, we're going to hit manage menu. We're going to hit add new menu or add new item site pages. We're going to go ahead and select about us and shop. Now hit apply. There's your three pages. All right. We're going to put this over. The next thing we want to do is we're going to go back. We're going to add the text the title of the website. We're going to click and drag it over or just click and it's going to go over. And now we're going to go back to our AI. We're going to click upgrade. Copy. 
This is our hero title. We're going to hit paste. All right. And once you paste it, you can either go off of it, go back on it. You're going to do this. You're going to go it in or out or however. And we're going to actually make this a tad bit bigger by coming over here to the right. We're going to make that format maybe 45. Let's go with 45. And then we're going to drag it over out. We're going to leave it just like that. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is bring it up a little bit. Let's go about right in. Let's go about right in here. All right. All right. Now we're going to add our element. We're going to go ahead and add a, the paragraph, a one liner right below our title. We're going to add a paragraph is what it's called. We're going to type it in. We're going to scroll it over and we're going to go back and copy our save money and energy copy. And then we're going to paste it here. Paste. All right. After we do that, we're going to bring it down just a tab. I mean, keep that one right there. We're going to bring this one down a little bit. All right. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to actually add a call to action button. We're going to scroll over here. We're going to click on button. We're going to go right here. We're going to find the change the text. And we're going to change the text to what the open AI gave us, which is shop led bulbs now. And I'm sorry if I'm far away, you guys, but the sound sound different, but I, my laptop actually went dead. So let me try to get this sound a little closer. All right. And right here, we're going to go ahead and type, I mean, go ahead and paste in the button. Let's see what it was. Let's go back. I'm sorry. Shop LED bulbs now. And we're going to say shop LED bulbs now. All right. And we're going to add a link, which is the page we want it to go to. We're going to go to pages and we're going to choose the page. We're going to choose the page shop now and done. All right. So now we have the header of our website done. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a section right here at the bottom going to add a section. Hold on one second. And we're going to make it blank. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add it, but this time we're going to use their composition. It's called composition. We call it templates either or. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm actually going to use one of these templates. So we won't have to not do too much. Let's see what services look like. All right, let's go to the feature section. And then we're going to choose this composition. They call it composition. We call it templates. We're going to use this one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change this image. We're going to click on the image. We're going to hit change image. And then we're going to upload the image that we actually created. Okay. So we're going to hit upload media. And I think this image we created on mid journey right here. And we're going to click on it. And once it upload, we're just going to hit update. All right. Click on update and there's the image. And then you're going to put two more images right here, right? So let's say you don't have any more images. Let's go ahead and click on this image right here, which is the one right here. We're going to hit change image. And this time we're just going to use some media from Wix. It's off this. And right here, let's just go ahead and type in LED bulbs. And you may have, have a picture of your particular bulbs that you already selling or so forth or whatever equipment you're selling. You can go ahead and do it that way. We're going to hit right here. We're going to hit light bulbs. We're going to hit update. And that's going to change that picture. We're going to do it again for this particular one. We're going to hit change picture. We're going to choose. Let's just choose this one right here. Update. All right. And the last thing you want to do is go to your featured section and update it with the script that they gave you. Let's go with same one we did last time, which was smart light bulbs, smart led bulbs. We're going to go here, change the text edit text. I mean, edit text and then hit paste. All right. All right. And then what we're going to do is okay. Hold on. Let me go here. Edit text. Let's go ahead and center that right quick down at the bottom. All I did was center it at the bottom and then I'm going to change these words to the description that they gave us right here, copy, go to the editor 
and I'm going to hit paste. And just like that, we built a website. So you see the concept of what I'm saying right here, homepage about us shop. Now we have two different websites. All right. So as you can see, that was quick and easy from editor X. We did one on editor X, which is this one right here. All right. And then you have one that we did on, I think web hosting, which was right here. All right. So each either way it go, you're going to actually critique it more and more, but I just want to show you how to do it now. Let's say you have a product that you want to sell and it's someone else's product, drop shipping, e-commerce, anything like that. Okay. You're going to go to Shopify. Once you log into your Shopify, you're going to come to this particular site right here. They got a special right now for three months, a dollar a month. I would recommend go ahead and start on it. But what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to stop the video right here. And I'm actually going to um, do another video because this video is getting kind of long. I'm going to go ahead and do another video on how to set up a Shopify store. Okay. I'm going to have a link down at the bottom for you to click on for the Shopify and other links like the pictory and so forth. Okay. On my silent hustle, on my silent hustle, entrepreneur showing up my silent hustle. Yeah. Go to easysilenthustle.com, learn the art of the silent hustle, and let your success make the noise. Yeah.